Hello and welcome back to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be making up salmon bait. I went to Quinault Pride Seafood and got a 50 pound box of salmon eggs. And I thought what a great opportunity for me to show you how I do up my salmon and my steel egg eggs to absolute perfection. But before we get into that, if you love outdoor videos, hunting, cooking, fishing, all of these outdoor experiences, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and turn on the notification bell so you can see when I post up and coming videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm gonna post more behind the scenes -y things of this and lots more. Without further ado, let's start curing some eggs. Creating the perfect salmon and steelhead egg is done in the preparation. The things that I use to prepare myself to cure up eggs is a good roll of paper towels, a good pair of scissors, mine are by Gerber, a lot of gloves, some one gallon Ziploc bags, delicious fresh eggs, and a good workspace. Make sure to glove up. This process can be a little messy. Oh, it can be a little messy. I'm gonna grab a skein of eggs. And so now what I'm gonna do, these eggs look amazing. One thing that is great to do, if there's any blood left over in the veins of the skein, that's something that you wanna push out. The way that I do that is I locate the end of the vein and I hold some um, paper, some paper towel next to it. And then I just start pushing all of that out. I push it out and as it comes out, I wipe it away. Pretty easy. Usually you can take your finger or the back of maybe your scissors or something and roll that right out. Blood is not something that you want all over your eggs. And since the blood kind of got into some of these ones, I'm gonna go ahead and snip those right off. I'm not gonna use them. The next thing that I do is I cut the skein down into small, like bait size pieces, maybe a little bit bigger. The reason why that I do this is because I want the cure to evenly distribute between all of my pieces of egg. And the way that I cut these is also really important because the skein is, um, the skein kind of holds the eggs in layers. So if I take my scissors and I come in to a layer, I can find in between layers, there's a kind of a clean place to cut. Leaving as much of this skein intact is really important because it helps you create really nice firm eggs, which is a major key to perfect eggs. So I'm gonna go through and cut these pieces into the size that I want them. This feels like tedious work, especially when you have 50 pounds of eggs sitting behind you. But the really great part of this is this step really is crucial into making fabulous eggs. And if you take the time and do this, you won't regret it. You'll have consistently firm and well cured eggs every single time. When you get to the tail, the layers kind of lay open themselves. So you can see there's a layer there, a layer there. I'm just gonna cut right in between these two layers. And now that I have my little pile of eggs, I'm gonna go through and remove any little bits and pieces of blood or something that I don't like off the egg, like that. And then I start the actual curing process itself. And I start with a Ziploc bag. 
So when I do my egg curing process, when I have 50 pounds of eggs, I do some as steelhead and I do some as salmon. And within those two categories, I'll do some different colors of steelhead and I'll do some different colors of salmon. So I'm gonna start with my steelhead cures and I'm gonna start with my very favorite cure, which is the badash cure. Yep. I. I am super fortunate to have teamed up with Zilla Bait, and that's all of the cures that I use. You don't have to use this. You can use any cure that you want. It just happens to be the one that I use. But I have Zilla Bait. I have it in red raspberry. My steelhead cure. Orange crush. And I believe I have, yes. I'm so excited for this one. Blair Bowl. So I'm gonna start with the Badash blend. I'm gonna grab a marker and I'm gonna mark each of my bags with the type of blend and the type of uh, fish it's gonna target. So this is going to be steelhead. And this is gonna be Bad Ash Blend. Now that I've done that, the first thing that I'm gonna do, get some cure, and I'm just gonna put a little bit along the bottom. So I have a little bit in there, and then I'm going to lay the eggs along the bottom, but kind of like evenly all across the bottom here. Once I have some in there, I'm gonna shake a little bit more of the cure on top. I'm super comfortable using a liberal amount of cure. That is one thing you do want to be careful of depending on what brand you use of cures. Certain brands, if you use too much cure, it does this thing that we call burning the eggs. So it makes them a little bit too hard um, and they kind of just like the egg themselves, if you feel them, they'll kind of just like collapse and crush. It's not a good egg and certainly not a perfect egg. So with those cures, you're gonna to wanna to be careful that you don't overdo it. What I really love about the Zillabate cure is you can use as much cure as you want. If the egg has had enough cure absorbed to it, it just simply won't absorb anymore. And this is all food grade cures. And so there's really no danger of actually burning the egg. So this is what I have going so far. I have chunks of coho eggs and I have the Badash steelhead blend layered on them. So generally I add a couple skeins and I'm gonna fill almost half of this bag up. So I'm gonna get some more skein, another skein of eggs, and I'm just going to repeat the process. I'm gonna start by looking for anything that's bloody and I see a little bit of blood in a vein here. So I'm just gonna run that blood out really quickly. I see that coming out here. I'm gonna dab that out again. That looks nice. Oh, this, my friends, is a beautiful skein. Love that. I'm gonna go ahead and roll my towel over and I'm gonna start that process again. And I'm gonna come through and snip. start getting the hang of it you'll start like laying the little layers of skein over you can kind of see more clearly where you cut if you have a thicker skein like this one is you cut them a little bit thinner so you don't have such big chunks and then when you kind of come to the tail end of the skein you can cut them a little bit wider so now that I have those going to add it to the bag, just layer upon layer. 
I really love coho eggs because they're a perfect size to fish small for steelhead. You can fish big gobs of them for Chinook. Chinook really like those big gobs of eggs sometimes. Um, but I find that they hold together super, super well and they're what's generally available to me. So I love it when I can get access to coho eggs. It's one of those things where everyone kind of has their own preference. And again, I'm just layering the cure nice and evilly, not really dumping it in one spot, being sure to kind of like get into the corners. Dump in a little bit extra. And back to the box of skein. The box of skein. Getting a phone call. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. I'm like currently recording and cutting up some skeins, trying to make a YouTube video about egg curing. Okay, are you going to help me cure these eggs? Yes, yeah, for sure. Yes. Excellent. 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 It is excellent. Prepare to have an excellent Friday night with me. Uh, looking forward to it. Do we need any, anything else? Any supplies or stuff yet? Bring the coffee. All the coffee. No, I'm okay. I have everything. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just got myself a helper for this. 50 pounds of eggs is a lot of eggs. I don't care who you are and what you say. 50 pounds is a lot. Barely made a dent in this box and I've already got a bunch of skeins in here. Okay, so another layer of eggs, again, just kind of laying them on top evenly, just because I want to be able to just to distribute to the cure very evenly as well. So another layer of egg chunk, another layer of cure. Okay, so from this point, I'm actually going to go ahead and start the next part of this process, which is sealing up the bag with air in it. And the reason why is because I'm going to tumble the eggs around and really get that cure starting to like foam up and work and do its magic. So I seal the bag with air in it and then I'm just going to start rolling them around. Nice and easy. You don't need to shake them. You don't need to put them through a lot. I just kind of roll them around and that cure starts working up in them. And you can see that the bag will start getting like a little bit juicier. Like right now it's pretty dry and there's like a little bit of cure just kind of rolling around with the egg. But pretty soon you're going to see this start to, to kind of juice up a little bit. And then we just, we go with that and I'll show you the next step from there. Some tips that I would also recommend is wear clothes that you're not worried about getting dirty or won't show pink stains like the shirt that I'm wearing here. And make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. Some cures are different than others, but really you don't want to breathe in anything that has like a lot of, you don't want to breathe in any sort of like powder or chemical whatsoever, even though this one's a much safer one than most. You still like would like to, you still want to be really careful with that. So there's that cure is really starting to work and I'm seeing these eggs start to like juice up a little bit. I'm going to take a look at them. And what I see is that the eggs are nice and evenly covered. This is well distributed. Just because I see a little extra cure hanging out, I'm just gonna shake them up a little bit more, tumble them around a little bit because I want that to get working really, really nicely. This process is so nice. It's so therapeutic to just kind of like roll your eggs around and think about all the fish that you're gonna catch 
Like that little morsel's gonna catch a Chinook. And that little morsel's gonna catch a Coho. Oh wait, these are steelhead eggs. All of these morsels will catch all of the steelhead. <laughs> so these are looking really, really, really good. So the next part is I kind of let them all sit up in their cure and juice. And then I open up this bag a little bit and I roll all of the air out of the bag and then I seal it all the way up and this is going to sit in my cool garage it's November in the Pacific I'm sorry it's October in the Pacific Northwest and so my garage gets pretty cool at night um, if yours is, 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 is hot, maybe put them in like a chillier area or in the refrigerator. Um, but really, I just put these in a bag just like this. They're nice and labeled. And I let them sit in this cure for 24 hours before I go on to the next step. So this beginning piece of the curing process this is the crucial part. This is where you've taken great care of your eggs, you've kept them nice and cool, you've cleaned them well, you've cut them down into portions that the cure can distribute evenly into, you've selected a cure that you feel great about, and you've distributed them and shook them up in the bag, and now it's time to let the cure go to work. So you kind of get the idea. I'm just gonna repeat this process with different types of cure until I have all 50 pounds of uh, salmon eggs cured up, and then I'll show you what I do with them next. So the eggs have been curing for about 24 hours, and before I pack them away into jars, some of these were a little bit juicier than I quite wanted, just a little bit, not much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them out on a paper towel and just let them dry up, just maybe even for an hour or two, just because it's, it's not that much, or at least I'll check on them afterwards. And as these babies are coming out, they are nice and firm and perfect looking. This is exactly how I wanted them to set up. These are perfect little morsels, I love this. But after sitting out for just a moment, they'll, they'll dry some of this juice, will kind of absorb into the paper towel, and then we'll be ready for the final step. After all of the eggs lay out and dry up a little bit, I'm gonna pack them all into jars and store them for later. It's really important to have different varieties and kind of different flavors. So you have something to offer fish because sometimes they want something a little bit more than the other and color can be a determining factor. Um, scent can be a determining factor. So I have a good variety that I can pack up and leave in my fridge to use when I'm ready to head out and go fishing. These can keep, I try to go through mine uh, over the course of a year, but they can really keep a little bit longer than that too. Now it's time to see if they work. Just like fishing for... Such a huge piece of bait. Big bait, big fish. Big bait, big fish. We got a, a little fish on here. Right, you're just baking them, right? Yeah. Alright. Line them up. Yeah! Come on, buddy. Don't watch them. I'm not gonna hurt you. Bobby, what is it? 
just have to say. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. Congrats. Nice. Well done. Nice. 